What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Pacific Northwest Fish and Forge coming at you from the future because I actually forgot to record an intro for this video. But I wanted to give a little backstory. This day we are out with my wife, uh, my buddy Scott and myself out on our local lake. We were actually micro fishing. Our setup was very simple. We had our little trout rods and we were using a thingamabobber which is actually like a fly fishing bobber. And then very very small hooks and then small worms. That was it. Super simple setup. It was actually very successful, so stay tuned for that. And as always, if you like my videos, subscribe, comment below. I love hearing from you guys. I do appreciate you subscribing and liking and all that stuff. I do really enjoy making these videos for you guys, so I like to hear your feedback. Anyway, without further ado, enjoy the video. Let me see it. Oh, you barely hooked him. Yep. This guy is a smallmouth. So Jess already has two species on the board today. Three. <laughs> Three? Oh, right, right. Jess is definitely in the lead right here. OMG. I already got like four fish on the shore. Jesus. That's what I mean, man. Frantic. So many fish. I need a new worm. That's our old one, so there should be a couple just in the bottom. Dude, there's a there's a digging stick, man. You gotta use the digging stick. No. Here's one. Yeah, I do like half of that one. He's pretty small. I'll take the other half. Thank ya. Let's leave that up there with the beers. Dun, 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 dun. I'm super Jess, you got a really nice bass, honestly. Alright. Fish number I don't even caught one yet. I gotta catch a fish and get on the board. Jess is already on five. So the little fish are right next to the shore, Scott. And they're actually like bigger fish. Like I've seen some monster bass in here that are like out. Maybe like a foot or two further than your bobber, but they're huge. Oh, set the hook a tiny bit. You got him? No, you got to set, set the hook a little more than that. You basically just poked him and he's like, oh, sh <laughs> You love bass fishing. Oh, nice. Now that was perfect. That was like a perfect hook set. That one is another bluegill. It looks like a bass. Is it golden or green? It's a large mouth. I can't catch a fish. What the hell? My worm's not even getting bites. What are you guys doing? Obviously. Yeah, I can't even get a bite. Oh, j that'll count. You touched it. It counts. That counts. I was. A, I think it looked like a large mouth. Scott's at two species. Jess is at three species. I'm at literally no fish. No, you totally got it to you. Didn't it hit you? <laughs> Jess has already caught four fish, three species, one nice bass actually for this little lake. He's working on another one. Scott's caught three? Three. I've caught none. Having some difficulties here. Yeah, Look at that tasty worm. I see a ton of them looking at it. I know, right? Woo! Jess has got another good one. Is it a gold one? So you got a small mouth. Something's wrong with this worm. I'm getting a new worm. This worm's broken. Did you get one? Oh, nice. So that one's really pretty, Scott. I can't get skunked on a micro fishing trip. Don't worry, I'll come catch him. Get him. I got him. Where was he? Point me in the direction of the fish. Oh, I see him. Oh, there's a ton down there. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're good. You got it here. I rinse my hands off. I put a new worm. Oh, yeah, go get it. There you go. Get it. Oh. Don't you do. Take the hook. Go. Oh, Jesus. He took most of the hook. Oh. Or, sorry, he took most of the worm. But he did bite it more than once. There you go. So that's a good sign. There we go. Scott's got another one. Looks like another bluegill. Yeah, his ear. Yeah. yeah, that's a bluegill. Yep. Oh, I got a fish! Oh, got oh yeah, not skunked. A tiny, the smallest bluegill. <laughs> Barely hooked, like perfect, right, right on the mouth there. Just pop it right out. First fish. Not skunked, baby. 
See you later, buddy. Woo. They just taste it, and then they're like, pet, no, and they swim away. There's got to be some weird chemical on it or something. Oh, that poor guy. <laughs> Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah. Okay, Scott, come here. What'd you get? The pumpkin seed so you can see it. Oh. This one's really pretty, actually. Like, this one's way more orange than normal. And oh, it's got, yeah. So what I can... The biggest they, way I tell is they have that uh, blue face. Well, it looks a lot more speckled than the oh, other one. Oh, Jesus Christ, buddy. Yeah. So, whoop. Okay. <laughs> Tiny for the camera. Pumpkin seed. Don't oh, don't fall. But yeah, really pretty fish. It's one of my favorite you can catch here. Okay, okay. Nope, I dropped him. All right, get back in the water, buddy. Sorry. Back where you belong. Two and two species. Nice. Just got one. Bluegill. Oh, Jens, you're catching all the big ones. Well, the biggest of all the ones I've caught or seen today. I think I've caught the smallest two. Do you have the other thing of worms over here? Yeah, I got it. Okay. What'd you get? Oh, no, no, Sorry. it's gone. That's right. no, good. So normally, Scott, there's like a, a stream that connects these two. Or it's pretty much just like the lake is connected. But the water's so low right now. I feel like I'm walking through a meadow. Oh yeah, so check out the new rod. It's a Shimano SLX reel with an SLX rod, so it matches. Fancy. But it's got the bait caster, which is a, harder to cast, but it's like technically you can cast further with it. Cool. And you have to like... Actually, gets, yeah, I would go over near the rocks where it's going to be less squishy. Oh, crap. I hit the ground. Crap. Oh, I lost my lure. Shit. That was fast. That was a good lure, too. This guy. Fish on? Oh, it's a baby! Harry, look at the baby! <laughs> I'm gonna pair this with the Eliminator I got from a Mystery Tackle Box, actually. We're going for some big guys. I hope there's no snags down there. No, just I don't want to catch a stick. Hey, let me take a couple casts in front of that steep spot. Oh, God. <laughs> Careful, don't walk over here, Scott. I just sunk in. I don't know what I'm doing. Wow, even there's even a trail between these two now. That's crazy how low it is. Oh, someone caught a bunch of crawfish. This is like a this is like a pile of claws. There's like ten claws right here. That was fast. Scott with another. You should try over here, Jess. 
there's like a little inlet cove area just like right over here I'm changing to the whopper plopper for fun oh that looks like mud oh yeah that's not bad it's pretty high up yeah I'm gonna get my worm out again I think I'm gonna try one more bait and then switch back to the worm this one almost got it through the eye. <laughs> lucky? Look at it. Or unlucky? Oh, yeah. Like, and it's got it right in his eye socket. Come on. This thing's called a whopper plopper, Scott. <laughs> Doesn't make a huge plopping sound. Just wait. <laughs> I've never fished with this before, Scott. Whopper plopper. Yep. It got, it's got a crazy action, though. You ready? It's a topwater bait. So you literally do this. And it just basically like propellers back. Oh, I got someone's line. Oh, that's my line. Maybe I can get my bait back. really stuck on something oh oh I got my bait back <laughs> nice rescued this is actually kind of it's like a couple bucks I think I just saved nice you're not done yet bait oh god That could have been bad. This one was like $13. So I really don't want to lose this one. <laughs> All right, I'm switching back to worms for the last 20 minutes. All right, let's catch a couple little guys. So the GoPro actually died just after this, and the best part is that those last 20 minutes we probably caught 12 or 15 more fish over where Jess was fishing so we're actually planning on going back out there for another micro fishing session in that particular corner because we could not keep the little pumpkin seed and the little bluegill off of the worm but that was it for tonight I'm sure we'll be back and we'll we'll bring the cameras so we'll take you with us again on micro, another micro fishing session for now thank you guys for watching definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet like my videos comment below i really appreciate all the interaction and uh, i hope to bring you guys some more fishing and foraging videos soon take care and have a good one